Hello everybody, Caden here today with another episode of Wildlife Park. And today, we're gonna build some caves. AKA the bat cave, the fish cave, insect cave, the cave. Spooky. But yeah, that's what we're doing today. Um, <laughs> You would not believe the amount of time I have spent today on this world. Well, actually I bet you can. Because if you look over here, as we do the quick uh, panoramic view of this, uh, <laughs> I have uh, I've spent quite a bit of time working on this already, getting rocks laid down and putting grass up like, oh, oops, wrong button, meant to hit F1. <laughs> but yeah, that that's what I did. I worked on just, <laughs> like, if, if this had been the whole, if the whole episode had been from ground one, which is, it was originally going to be, which is, you know, how we did that, where we start with nothing and then we built the entire thing up, this would have probably been a two hour episode because of how long I spent building rocks up and stuff. And we're not even gonna finish the cave in today's episode. Like, I actually wanna get some, one of the glass textures out real quick. I was wanna see, did this get the, uh... nah, this hasn't got an updated texture. Like I said it in my last Dinos episode, um, if you haven't seen that, go check it out. It was pretty good, actually. We got some pretty cool stuff done. But uh, I'm trying to get all 32 by 32 textures done for all the chisel blocks because I need them in 32 by 32 so it looks better. Anyway, the more important thing is today we got a couple of creatures lined up. We have bats, cockroaches, cave fish, cave spiders, and finally a centipede because I actually realized one of the mods I was missing, which was lots of mobs because I would meant to have that in originally but forgot about it. I also finally got Project Zulu to work, and if we look around here, I thought I saw a slime just a second ago. I do have the world, yep, there it is. I do have the world on easy now, so cre we're going to have probably some troubles with zombies spawning here. I've tried to do the command a couple of times to keep mon mobs from spawning in, but occasionally a few will appear. But that's not the point of today's episode. The point of today's episode is we have a lot of rock work to do today, <laughs> like a heck of a lot of rock work. I was actually going to start this episode a bit earlier in the building phase, because you see I still have like all the red wool here, um, that was new outlines for how the exhibit was supposed to look, but suffice to say I realized that was a pretty bad idea, because that was just gonna take a very, very long time to get finished, and yeah, so let's get down to business to just build up a cool little cave area. I'm trying to, the reason I'm building this up right now is I'm trying to figure out how high up the uh, roof of the cave is gonna be. Because I'm not gonna, I don't think I'm gonna do like the full grass top roofing because I, I plan on doing that, full, like fully completing that eventually. But uh, I think first we're just gonna try and get some layers going out here to kind of get a good idea of what we're working with. So, this will actually be the second time I've ever really built a cave type exhibit for one of my series. The only other time I've built a cave that at least I can remember. Maybe I've built another cave. Actually, I have. Actually, I've built two caves for dinosaurs. There was the Velociraptor cave, and then there's the uh, uh, Leopleurodon cave. But I think this one's a bit counts a bit more because uh, the Leopleurodon one is a bit more close to what this is going to be because that was a much larger cave that you know was much bigger in terms of height depth width all that whereas the raptor cave was a very small sandstone cave and not actually the majority of the exhibit actually a lot of people argued that <laughs> oh never mind you know enough about the raptors we're, we're, we're working hard on zoo stuff today but yeah I, I think that's good now if you'll notice i did grab this glass out and i was making a little thing with it earlier the reason I did that is because I had a really cool idea, I thought, about what I want to do somewhere in the exhibit, and I haven't figured out exactly where, but I want to have a bit of a skylight. So, um, what is it? I watched uh, Planet Earth, which, if you haven't seen it, really, really good document nature documentary about like the ecosystems of Earth and like the creatures living there. It's super cool. It's a couple of years old now, but it, it's still really, really good. And I watched the cave episode because why not? I was really sick at the time and heck, why not watch an episode of, filled with caves and creepy crawlies? I actually kind of like that stuff, so it didn't bother me that much. 
But I remember several of the Bat Caves they showed off. And every time I say that, I'm going to think Batman. Actually, we are going to need to name tag the bats because <laughs> if we don't, they're going to despawn. Maybe I will name tag one of the bats Batman because that would actually be pretty funny. Also, I think I'm going to use black stained glass in here. And the reason for that will be it's just going to make it seem a whole lot darker in the room without having to obviously make it much darker. Because, especially with the bat one, that one might struggle a tiny bit because I want to put the skylight in. But, I don't know. I think it'll work. I think it'll still work quite well. Oh, yeah. We don't even need to do that. We can just get the, uh, the builder's wand. Ta-da! Yeah, if we just quickly fly in here. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't do much difference, but... Actually... Oh, actually, it does quite a bit of a difference. That, see? Quite good. Quite good. Good plan, I think. Um... But yeah, like I was saying, I was watching that episode with the cave systems in it, and I seem to remember, I, it wasn't in every cave. Some of the caves had really big side entrance openings, but I thought it'd be kind of cool to do like a really big kind of like opening in the roof. And then we have like, uh, well, like a wire mesh going above it, basically, to keep the bats from escaping out into the main part of the world because you know it wouldn't be great if all of our bats escaped the zoo It'd be pretty bad <laughs> actually it wouldn't be i mean they are just normal bats i mean i'd assume these would be what fruit bats yeah fruit bats probably i don't know or fox-eared bats you know not you know vampire bats or anything of course though those probably wouldn't even really att actually i don't know much about bats I don't think vampire bats attack people, generally. I, I know they typically go after livestock such as cows and uh, pigs that live in South America. But I don't know, inform me guys, if you know, uh, do vampire bats often attack humans? And I'm not saying like rare cases like, oh, well there, there's this recorded case where one dude got bit by a vampire bat. Cause that happens with every animal. Like there's probably a recorded case in history where a sheep like killed a man by biting him because i don't know the sheep had rabies or something <laughs> can sheep get rabies wow all the all the important questions coming out today in today's episode you know can sheep get rabies because we need to know um that's reminding me there's uh black sheep that's what it's called it's, it, it's that movie is so campy and amazing at the same time if you don't know what it is, it's 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 like a I guess it's technically a horror movie about genetically modified sheep, like super carnivorous sheep, and they like destroy them by. I, I I'm actually not gonna talk anymore about it in case I spoil stuff. But uh, if you if any of you actually wanted to see that movie, but yeah, I don't know why I just suddenly thought of that sheep with rabies. Man, that'd be weird. But yeah, I don't know if they could actually get that because. Typically, I just seem to think that carniv carnivorous creatures get it and not the herbivorous. But I might be completely wrong. Again, I don't know much about that stuff. Which is weird. Um, oh, oh, are there still... Yeah, I forgot that. Stagmites and stalactites. I forgot we found these um, a couple of episodes ago when we were working on the reptile house. And I said I was going to use these for... Uh, like the cave exhibits. The problem is that's actually really bright. We I need to figure out a way, and I think I can. If I use some slabs cleverly, I'd betcha I could uh oh yeah. Wait, um get the lighting to be a bit darker I mean let me see like this okay so you can kind of see that there's a skylight yeah you can see the skylight but you can't really see the slabs and that works really well that actually works really well and it makes the cave a heck of a lot darker which will be good that'll be really good okay problem number one solved and then we'll just layer down the roof. I'm probably just going to use stained clay for like the entire building part of this. I mean, in terms of like the actual building itself, this is going to be a pretty simple one. I mean, it really isn't much. It's like a little 
walk way in so you can just kind of go in see the creatures um am i gonna split it i think i am gonna keep the split because so, and we'll just do like that okay so i decided there was going to be a split in the exhibit because we've obviously got like some more hostile creatures some more insects so i thought we should have one side with the insects and then one side with the bats just because i don't know i think that would look a bit better we will now set up a bit of a rock wall here to uh, keep the two from mixing. And yeah, there we go. There we go. Oh, I actually have a really good question for you guys to, in today's episode. Oh, yep, creeper. Okay, so we are going to have to worry about uh, monsters spawning in now. Um, slash game rule. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do it later when I can actually see chat, because like I've said before, I have a tiny, tiny little monitor, and I cannot see anything when I'm typing it in chat while doing these episodes. Um, let's see. How's that looking? What did I do there? Oh, okay, it was just a lighting bug. Yeah, that's looking pretty good, I think. That's looking pretty good indeed. Okay, so... Actually, we should put, yeah, just a bit of rock wall greebling here. Actually, yeah, this is the only part where it's going to need to... Oh, ah, this part's going to need a lot of rock work to get to look right. Um... I can do it. I'm a master of rock work, especially today. I've had to do a lot of rock work with the uh, just the area around this because I, I, I completely forgot this is on the back side of the elephant exhibit or the Asian elephant exhibit. I'm trying to figure out um, what was it? No, the question I had for you guys. Yeah. What creature do you want me to do after this? We have because I finally got uh, Project Zulu and stuff to work. Um, we have gorillas, we have monkeys, we have tigers, we have pandas, we have tons of creatures. We've got macaws. So yeah, just if if you want to uh, suggest a creature we should do, the next uh, creature we should do, uh, put that down in the comments below. It's probably going to be a jungle creature just because, well, why not? I, I've done a lot of jungle creatures recently. I'm actually going to build some stalactites as well. Stalag Tight. Yeah, the stalactite is the ceiling, stalagmites are floor. I'll just place a couple of these down. That's looking pretty cool. And then there's another way you can build some custom ones with uh, this. And if we were just to take it down like that. Actually, I think I should use cobblestone. Yeah, cobblestone will probably fit better just because yeah like like this you get some larger ones going and then obviously we just replicate this on the floor below and then that will give me stalag really big stalagmites but yeah if you haven't seen these kind of this kind of stuff in real caves there are some caves with some absolutely incredible uh mineral and rock formations <laughs> man that's something i really want to do in real life i i'm not very i'm a tiny bit claustrophobic i guess but I'm not as claustrophobic because other people I know, and I don't know, the notion of going into a cave, like a huge cave system and just exploring, seeing mineral formations, the wild, the few creatures that actually live down there and stuff, that's always been a really cool idea, and I've always wanted to do that, so maybe at some point, maybe, you know, a couple of years down the road, I could go caving or something, make a video out of it. I think that would actually be pretty cool to do, and then we could do a... a bigger one like that. like that yeah that looks pretty cool I think I like that I like it a lot um, but we actually need to get the uh, wand out here let's do that slash slash replace stone okay and then I know do that from here to here da da and ba ba da da ba da 
da, ba -da. There we go. Now I have a stone floor and just realized I'm actually going to need, I'm definitely gonna to need to dig this down. Um, probably should have done that first, but eh. I kind of like the sound of the stone breaking way better though than the sound of grass breaking here because grass is just a very annoying breaking sound. But yeah, I think this episode's probably gonna be pretty short compared to the last uh, couple of episodes we've done for this series. Partially just due to me already doing a majority of the heavy lifting for this one off camera. But the other, the uh, exhibit that we're gonna work on after this, the insect version, will be slightly different. I think I'm gonna put a, yeah, I think I'm gonna put water in both these exhibits. A little uh, subterranean lake, because, I don't know, I love the idea of that, like subterranean lakes with the, like, the eyelish fish and stuff like that. I don't know, something about that that I've always found really, really cool. I should do a waterfall in the other exhibit. Of course, though, that may make more sense in this one because this is the one, you know, that doesn't have land creatures in it. This is the one that's got, like, you know, bats and flying creatures. But I also want it to look somewhat like that because, you know, if it's an underwater cave, which was most likely obviously formed by water, because water makes a lot of cave, a majority of caves. Um, let's see, and then do that. It's already cut through a majority of the rock. Then I'm always scared when I do stuff like this that I'm going to quite heavily mess up, and like half my park will have turned to stone. It'll be like. King, no, not King Midas. King Midas turned things to gold. It'll be like Medusa. I gazed upon this and then it turned to stone. Yeah, so I have then something a bit like that. And then this could actually be a stalagmite, another stalagmite, a couple of big ones here. What was it? <laughs> this actually reminds me. So. Back in the old, ye olden days of the channel, back back way when, I was considering to, uh, playing Crazy Craft. Back when that was a big thing. I wonder how many of you guys remember that mod pack. Um, but yeah, I was thinking about doing that with a couple of friends of mine, and <laughs> we we had consider I had considered making like a like a version of the bat cave in it. And it was gonna look really cool with like a lava pit and stuff like that. And yeah, I just never ended up recording that series because I don't know, I, I didn't record much back then. I, I <laughs> That was actually something I marveled about the other day. I was looking at my uh, channel and I realized in like the first year of doing YouTube, I made like 30, maybe 40 videos. <laughs> and this year alone, I've already made couple hundred like over almost 200 videos so far this year so i mean because obviously i've missed a couple of days here and then oh my gosh this looks so cool um the, you know it will really improve this actually a bit of cobble and and uh, get a bit of andesite as well and just drop this in a couple of places because it'll Kind of just give it a bit, the cave a bit more texture. I mean, we're not gonna, I'll, uh, I should have done the, I feel like I should have done the texturing earlier. Like if I really wanted to have a ton of texturing in the cave, but it's okay. It's okay doing it now. Plus I'm not gonna do too much of this, I think. Oh, there's a stalactite there. A stalagmite, stalagmite. I, I, I can be correct with the pronunciations of which thing it is. It's actually raining. I, okay, my sound was down really, really low. I was like, why couldn't I hear it raining? Because usually I can hear it. I also hear a slime. That looks cool. I like this a lot. <laughs> oh, that's really cool looking. That is really cool looking, but we actually need to get some name tags out real quick. Just because um, we need to name the bats so that way they don't disappear. I've actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give two special names. That I name most of them just that dot because it's really hard to see that name. But we're we're gonna have two 
different named ones. We're going to have Bat, Damon, <laughs> and uh, what, what's, what's the other one? Just Batman. Batman. Is Batman one word? Well, it, it's it's an actual bat, so he shall be called Batman. Batman. <laughs> Batman. And then we'll just have two little cave fish in there. And now for the bats. Hundreds, hundreds, and hundreds of bats. And the cave fish are already out. Okay. So for the actual cave fish, I am going to make sure to. Because they're going to. A majority of the cave fish I'm going to put in the other exhibits. So I'll just dig theirs very, very deep. So. Stupid bats. Okay. 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 And. You should be Bat Damon. And. Wait. There we go. And we have Batman. Batman and Bat Damon. And. <laughs> yeah, that, that's that. That looks cool. I always like the idea of a bat house. It, it's just such a cool. Oh, I knew I messed up. <laughs> I knew it. Oh, but like, look at that. That is so cool. <laughs> That is really cool. And no one can tell me otherwise. And there are monsters back here, aren't there? Where are they? Crepper. Here, Enderman. You know what? What we're going to do. We're just going to turn it to peaceful real quick and then back to easy. Because I don't have any creatures that will despawn at the moment. So. How did you get out? I have... You know, I wonder if that's just a naturally spawning bat. That honestly could be. I, I don't... Oh, no, no, no. It's it's because I, I made a mistake. I made a mistake. No. Forgot to put the glass up here. I think we can actually add more bats in. We might actually add a couple more bats in. Oh, that was funny. It looked like the bat just, like, took the fish out. Boom. Wow. Sit down, son. Um, okay, so we will now grab the sword and get the escape bat. Escape bat! No more. Okay, and oh my gosh, I have to build a rock wall! Oh no, what have I done? I've, I've ruined myself. Um, okay, so there we go. Rudimentary rock wall and get the wand. And da 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 Okay, so this one we should only need to do that because I believe this one is going to be... Oh, you know what I should do for this one? This one should have a shelf. Yeah, this one should definitely have a shelf. So we'll have a shelf of rock there and then where is... Dig tool. Dig tool! Come to me, dig tool! Dig tool! Um, okay, and then... There we go, and then I want to deepen this again, and again. There we go. So this will be what we'll build the central lake, the underground lake thing about. And then obviously we have the shelf, which... Oh, I heard the grumbling. I was like, what was that? Nope, that was the uh, elephants just across the wall. Elephants sound pretty terrifying. Man, imagine what it would have been like to be uh, in, like, the ancient world, like the Romans, and seeing the Carthaginian war elephants. Imagine what that would have been like. That would have been terrifying to see that kind of stuff. Like, war elephants, basically the battle tanks of the, mod of the ancient world. Like, that would be so scary to see. You just, you know, milling about your everyday life. And you probably haven't even seen an elephant before because, you know, no zoos back then, uh, you know, not a lot of free-flowing knowledge. So you don't even know what an And there's an elephant. <laughs> but yeah, you wouldn't even know what an elephant is. And then you're suddenly just sent one day to the front line and then boom, 
war elephants and you're just like what is this thing it's so scary and then it gets destroyed it get the elephant gets killed by a spear because <laughs> elephants not really good against long you know spears that anti-cavalry weapons because you know elephants basically in a war would have just been really big heavy cavalry really big shock cav i play way too much total war if i'm calling it shock cav right now <laughs> Uh, way too much Total War. Ah, but I like Total the Total War games. They're fun. Okay, and I'm gonna do this just because why not? Um, and do that. And we're not gonna do the uh, which call it, the thingy, the skylight in this one. This one will not have a skylight in it. This one is going to be. Well, I mean, it won't. It won't really need one. I think it'll look a lot cooler. Oh, especially when we put shaders on for the final look at the exhibit. Is that a slime out here? I swear, I have no idea how these guys are spawning. I've done the command to keep stuff from spawning, and a majority of the time they don't spawn in. But for some reason, they, they just keep getting in here. It's really annoying. But I'm going to have to keep it on easy if I want to, obviously, you know, keep doing these cool exhibits. But that... Darn it, zombie. Just... I'll figure out how to get the mob spawning to go completely off. Because that will probably make the zoo a lot nicer looking if we don't have, like, mobs spawning literally everywhere. Oh. Well, I'm going to get rid of that real quick. And then... There we go. Eh, that's not too bad there. I mean, I'm I, most of this stuff is going to be hollow anyway. I almost feel like I should put something back there, like another little exhibit. Or, oh, you know what I actually could do back there? I could actually use... I could use that space. Um, I can actually use that space as kind of like maybe a... No, maybe I'll do, do that somewhere else. I was going to say, we could have another cave area going. And, oh, okay, I need to get Lord of the Rings mod to work with this. Um, someone a while ago said I should do a Balrog exhibit, and if you don't know what a Balrog is, or a Balrog, however you want to pronounce it, um, pretty cool thing, it's from, it's from Lord of the Rings, I don't know why I paused there, but I did, <laughs> um, yeah, the Balrog is pretty cool, and yeah, I would love to build, like, a Mines of Moria type exhibit for it, like, that would be so cool, but yeah, I was, the, what I was originally going to think is, we could do, like, a fossil thing there, like, uh, you know, you go in there, maybe there's some cave paintings or some fossils you can look at. Stuff like that. Which may means I might actually add revival to this mod pack. Um, I'm not going to put any of the dinosaurs in before anyone asks. I wouldn't put dinosaurs in or even the like Ice Age mammals or the birds. Maybe we'd put the dodo in, but just the dodo. But I would use it for like the archaeology and the fossils and stuff, because that could actually be really cool for... Uh... Heck, maybe we could even put Jurassic Craft in there. Uh, of course, the Jurassic Craft doesn't have the archaeology stuff. Of course, though, do you really see archaeology stuff at a zoo? I'm trying to debate whether or not that would be a good idea. We'll see. Maybe we'll see with time. Actually, I mean, heck, I'll wait for your guys' response. If you guys think that'd be a good idea and I should definitely do that, let me know. Um, okay, and then... There. And we'll just head in here real quick. And, yep. A lot more, like of a shelf wall, I guess. That's how I'm gonna describe this wall. Shelf wall. It's very flat and, well, you know, not a lot of curvature to it, but I, I think that actually fits quite well with this. I think it's fitting the exhibit quite well. Of course, I mean, of all the exhibits though, I'm, I'm kind of surprised I'm spending so much time on this one because this isn't even a main exhibit for the area. This could have literally gone anywhere in the park. Because, I mean, it's just a little cave to put bats in originally, and then I decided to be, oh, you know, it'd be cool if we put, like, some, I don't know, giant insects or something in here as well. There we go. But, yeah, I don't know. Maybe we'll see. Maybe we'll see. No, that wasn't what I was talking about. I, was, I thought I was talking about the archaeology stuff. No, no, this was about why am I building a bat cave. I have no idea, guys. I, I just thought it would look cool, and then I built one. Um, okay, so I can do the same thing up to there. Just 
get uh, that covered with stone. And I'm trying to remember, uh, what do these uh, underground lakes actually look like? Because it's been a, I, I saw it recently, like I said, but even then it's still been a, it's been a couple of like months since I last saw that episode. So my memory is slightly hazy on what I should really be shooting for. I mean, as far as I remember, though, it was kind of like this. Kind of like that. And then we're, we're going to kind of do this towards the edges of it, so that way the fish may not be so enticed to jump out of the water, hopefully. Because I don't really want the fish jumping out of the water, because that kind of ruins the exhibit a bit. So yeah, we have the bat exhibit, and then we have everything else that lives in that I could fit in a cave that isn't already in another exhibit. I was considering putting the scorpion from Mo Creatures in here, but I decided against that because I don't know. I just thought I could do some other cool stuff. Um, we need to get cobble and the cobble wall. Okay, there we go. And I'll just sporadically throw down some cobble in places. This one cannot, I don't think this one can have as many stalactites because the roof on this one is a bit more like that. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. And then I'll actually just do stuff like that to make it look like it's a bit more attached to the ceiling. I should do that with more of them. Um, but yeah, ones like this will probably just be a lot of very small short stalactites rather than very very large ones and yeah and then we now need the stalagmite the custom built stalagmites which again will be fewer because I, this is bat the bat one we could have a bit few more with because they fly so they have a bit of an easier time with this stuff, but with things that are walking and swimming about, it's probably going to be better if we just simply do stuff like this. Yeah, I like this. I, I like I like how this has turned out. I th the caves are looking a lot better. Oh my gosh, I actually know how I can do uh, weathering in the cave stuff to make it much easier. Oh, I can't believe I didn't think of this earlier. There's a... Uh, a smashing rock. The smashing rock from a uh, chisel. It's meant to be able to get you some blocks a bit easier or something, but uh, yeah. Oh, I actually want a lot more stuff like here because like that looks cool. That looks pretty cool. And then do a bit of that. And uh, roots. I believe if I do those only work with the... Okay, I think they only work with dirt, but... Cool, nonetheless. This, uh, okay, um, we need... Sen... Not Seb. Centipede. We need the centipede. We need the... I'll just look at the cave. We're going to put one legendary, some smalls, and... A... Oh, that's a tiny. Some smalls. Yeah, that should be good. At... We're also gonna grab a cave spider, and I looked at the cockroach because I don't know. I thought that would, I thought that would be pretty cool, and like I've seen some really, I saw some really really spooky caves that had like hundreds of thousands of cockroaches, and, like mountains of cockroaches, and it was really cool. Some cave spiders in here, which are basically mesolethe. Why is it gone in the water? I don't understand some of this stuff. And then wait for this, guys. Wait for this. Look at that. Why is it in the water? I'm going to spawn one up here. That looks cool. That looks pretty cool. And then... And then a single... Oh my gosh, look at the size of that thing. Okay, this side isn't working as well because of how I've set stuff up. But you know what? Who cares? 
Okay, they're still going on land. Why are you going on land, you idiot fish? I'm gonna actually, I might just, whoops, use some half slabs in here to allow you to kind of see over the border a bit easier. And then I don't have to dig the floor up because that's always helpful. And to help reduce light a bit like that. And then, yeah, there we go. Our cave area. Look at that, that big fish. That's really cool actually. Got some spiders, we got some cockroaches. The centipedes are gone. Are they seriously both gone? It appears the centipedes have died. Oh no, they've both gone in the water. Oh, that's lovely. I might put some barrier blocks or something around there to keep them from getting in. Anyway, um, I'm just gonna turn it to peaceful so we can get rid of the zombies, but we'll just put the shader pack on. And oh my gosh, this is dark. And this is exactly what I wanted. That is exactly what I wanted. I wanted it to be super duper dark, impossible to see anything. Just barely make out the creatures living in there. But you come from outside and it's just like, boom. Yeah, that, that, is, that is perfect. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, watching me build this. Um, I think this turned out a lot better than I was thinking it would. But yeah, um, make sure to, in, to leave in the comments down below uh, what creature you want me to work on next, be it the, like monkeys, gorillas, tigers, pandas, whatever. You name it, I can build it. But yeah, I, I like how this jungle area is coming together. I think it's to come, starting to come together quite well. And heck, we've only, we've like if we hit Z real quick, we've got a pretty condensed area. We've got way more room. Jungle area is probably gonna expand out this way. I mean, heck, we could even put like a tiger like right there or something, I don't know. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Um, <laughs> hope you like that little build. It'll look a lot nicer when I actually put like the grass over the hill and stuff. I'm actually considering turning that into a full-blown mountain, though, with, like, a snow cap or something, because that'd be pretty cool. But anyway, thank you guys again for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this episode, and until next time, guys, see ya.